recently I became a published author, having authored and launched my first book, Rise, on December the 5th last year. Some people call that a COVID baby. So for me, it was that book to give people a chance, a second chance, a third chance to become their next best self. And that's really the mission of my work. I run Breakthrough Leadership Transformation, which is all about helping people break through the spaces they are stuck in. We are doing a lot of exciting work around Africa and specifically around raising leaders. And so we're helping people break through their spaces, become their next best selves at individual level, team level, board level and organizational level across Africa. I always felt I needed to also expand our territory in terms of how we engage with people. And you know what? Sometimes you need a push from a client, from a friend, from someone who just tells you, you can be more, do more. So we launched uh, Your Next Best Self with Dr. Patricia Morogami. And then I thought it's time I started to profile women in business. And very specifically, I was very careful to select women in business from the Safaricom Women in Business uh, team. And some of them, I knew them, but I didn't even know their story in the level of depth that they shared uh, their story with. But what is very interesting, I also started to interview men. Because you see, I'm not trying to build a future that's female. The idea is to level the playing ground and then to make the world more human and more humane, not more male or more female. There are multiple collaborations and partnerships. Some are across women in business, within the Safari community in business, people actually helping each other by introducing each other. I approach my friends and I tell them, you know, I have started Breakthrough Leadership Transformation. Uh, we launched Woman of Substance on Telegram, and it's an open uh, platform. In other words, anyone can join it from anywhere in the world. And I have committed to every day sharing an insight from my personal journal. I'm so fascinated by the courage women have. Young women, it's all from the age 19, all the way. When you find the clarity of purpose, then I know it unlocks the courage to move forward. And when you have the courage to move forward, it unlocks the opportunity to grow your competence. And once you grow your competence, then you develop your confidence. And then out of that confidence then comes compassion. Out of all that um, circle of C's, the last thing is commitment. And then can I then multiply that effect through multiple channels, the podcast, uh, my YouTube channel, my book rise, which I think has been such a gift. Uh, for me, I didn't realize it would be received like that. It was a real gamble. And I have found that challenging myself to rise, to help others rise. What I'm saying is rise as you lift. COVID-19 presented danger and opportunities. In the beginning, I could only see the danger. So for me, it was a mindset shift and to now help others to also shift their minds. So there were some winners even in a COVID year. And for me, I chose to look at what are the possibilities that this year gives me because it has forced me to pause, to reset, to recalibrate. So perhaps I can rise and by rising, lift very many other people with me. So my call to action for women is that choose to challenge yourself first, not even anyone else. Challenge yourself and ask yourself, what is holding me back today from becoming a better version of myself than I was yesterday? Twende to Kiyuke, let's go beyond.